G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video called I'm Single, What Happened? And it's by a guy called Chang Nation. I have this video in a description. I may not get through the whole thing. So if you wanna see everything he has to say, check it out. So I think to preface this video, um, men generally uh, react a few different ways to breakups. Um, I think every breakup that I've had uh, in my life, I use it as an opportunity for learning, you pick up things every time. You do, as a man, you need to get punched in the face a few times before you start learning, especially about women. Because uh, as men, we are programmed in society that there's sugar and spice and all things nice and, and they're just sitting there, they're the bell of the ball and they're just sitting there waiting for you to go and commit because all they want is a boyfriend, right? And so when we go and get into relationships um, and inevitably come out the other side, whether it's a girlfriend, a wife, whatever it is, um, someone you're dating, Things don't stack up a lot of the time. And so you are confused and you don't know what has happened. So this particular video, this guy, I would say he's probably um, very much on the plugged in um, side of things. Um, he's trying to rationalize why she's broken up with him without really understanding why or trying to learn why or seeking out the right answers. So I'll get started here. I'm single guys. So nope, this uh, title is not clickbait. My girlfriend and I, we split yesterday. Today's actually my birthday, so. Cop that, day for the birthday. Getting old, <laughs> almost 30, but um, yeah. We broke up yesterday, so we were dating for almost three years. We started dating. Okay, so you didn't break up. She dumped you yesterday, the day before your birthday. So she's done you a favor, mate. She's dumped you a day before your 30th birthday or 29th birthday. I can't remember what he said. Mate, I can tell you right now, you're not old. A lot of young blokes think when they hit 30, uh, the world ends. Uh, it's just the start. It's just the start. I, I'm approaching 40. I, I don't even feel like I'm get. I'm just feeling like I'm really getting started now. So you got time. Eighty in December of 2021. So we were a couple months away from our three-year anniversary. Ironically, as uh, <laughs> we were like breaking up, my uh, video like posted where I was talking about how um, I was less needy in this current relationship, and that is true. Uh, Basically the purpose of this video is I just wanted to kind of just like talk about the reasons why we broke up and then discuss the plans I have moving forward. And hopefully you guys find some value in it. If you're facing a breakup or you know, you're in a relationship or maybe if you get into a relationship in the future and just wanted to keep you guys updated since um, you know, you guys know that I've had a girlfriend for quite some time now. So on the surface, this might. All right. So I think probably what we're going to get... So I watched about this firing, guys. I didn't watch the whole thing yet. So what do we say? Our girlfriend's dumped him a little bit before 30. Um, and he, to me, comes across as a guy who probably isn't that experienced with women. I'd, I'd probably take a look at him and think um, uh, he's probably had very limited experience. And this is not, look, a bad thing. I'm just saying you can tell the type of guys by looking at him a lot of the time. He has limited experience, doesn't really understand women at all, what they get up to, how they think, and what they really um, hunt from men, right? A lot of guys don't understand that they're, they're the ones being hunted, especially when it comes to commitments. So this guy has probably struggled. Um, he's finally gotten a girlfriend. As he said, he's been needy, um, probably social anxiety over neediness, with women based on bad experiences had in the past, which is common. Um, it's very hard for guys to get girlfriends. Women don't understand this because a lot of the time they can jump around and generally get a guy to go out with them um, or they have guys on the back burner. Not every guy is watching this type of content and knows what's up. I'll say it's probably a small portion of the population that are seeking answers and, and knowledge, okay? So there's always another guy for him to go out with, another guy who has no idea who will step straight into the new boyfriend um, role the day after she's dumped another guy without even risk doing any sort of risks analysis or seeing any red flags in it at all because it'll be different for him. As with for men, especially in your 20s, um, very difficult unless you're really the top like really attractive, sporty guy, cool guy, fun guy. Yeah, it's a lot different in your 20s to your 30s, and I can get to that a bit later. It's very hard to get a girlfriend or a really good girlfriend or a woman that you look and look at and go, wow, she's sort of out of my league type girlfriend. It's very, very difficult. Like generally, those women are going for guys slightly older, not guys younger or around the same, because women are drawn to guys um, who have done stuff, 
um, who are accomplished and, and proven, it's attractive to them, okay? So when a guy does get a woman uh, that he perceives as being high value or better than him, he's instantly on the back foot um, and also gets really, really attached. I've seen this happen on numerous occasions, um, especially with guys closer um, into my, uh, my network. Pedestalizing women seem like extremely shitty which it is i think when you date someone for so long you know letting go is definitely difficult but to be honest in this specific scenario i feel like it was a situation where we both didn't want to break up but we mm -hmm. both agreed that we should break up what no 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 see, see see she's letting you down right she's not saying so, how do you not want to break up a breakup it makes no sense mate and it is a cope unfortunately Guys will listen to the reasons that women give him for breaking up. If the woman is even courteous enough to try and lie to him, um, to give him some sort of closure or understanding of why his ass is being dumped. You know, guys will just lap that up. But the reason, <laughs> this doesn't make sense to me. I, I, let's just keep watching. Exactly what I mean by this. So I guess let's just dive right into it. The first reason why we broke up she doesn't want kids, plain and simply. You know, she expressed that early on in the relationship. And um, I think it's just solidified as we started dating longer and longer. And I want kids in the future. I was of the mindset that we can just cross that bridge when we get there since I don't want to have kids. No, no, no. So, so if this guy was really the guy she wanted and wasn't sort of the beta sort of blue pill, and I hate using that terminology beta, but you guys are getting the gist. You know, we've all been there. Being that safe option, if he if he was the one that she really, really wanted, if he wanted kids, she'd probably consider it. If she even didn't want them, I should be thinking, shit, you know, I really want to keep this guy and having kids would keep him around. So she's he's actively said to her he wants to have kids. Uh, is a guy who looks like he wants to be a family kind of guy. And she's actively saying to him, I don't want him. So what's that telling you? She's not in it for the long run anyway because she's blatantly telling you something that should go against your boundary, okay? Kids, anytime soon, I need to work on myself first, you know, make money <laughs> to support a family. And uh, yeah, I'm just not ready to have kids yet. But, uh, you know... I think that logic is fueled by the, you know, deep down desire that maybe she'll change her mind in the future. But honestly, that's not the right way to approach it. If someone doesn't want kids, let's say in the future she does have kids with me because she knows I want kids, she might secretly resent the kids and then they're going to grow up with a mom that resents them and that's really bad for their upbringing, right? So so I've heard this sort of same shtick. Um, so he was like 29. I'm going to presume she's probably around the same age. It sounds like she's... Um, I can already get a gist, right? Some sort of career woman um, type. Nothing wrong with that. But a lot of them say this thing that they don't want kids and they want to be single or they want to, you know, they want to be free and unburdened. I have no issue with that because that's the way that I live, okay? I think that's great. But I don't think they really mean it. Um, I think they say these things as a cope uh, because they really want to p push those, uh, I guess, those maternal instincts down um, that, you know, the the need, the, the genetic need to reproduce can be very strong. So they try and push that down saying that they don't want it because they're chasing this career and want to live this sort of sex in the city lifestyle. But what I've seen happen is women who staunchly would say that in their 20s, like they're young girls, I don't know what they're talking about. All right, they, they're, 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 the mind changes with the wind. So the young girls, they get to 30, 32, they made a good option. They made a guy, and a lot of guys out there are pretty keen to have kids quick as well. Like guys say, oh, you know, women to baby trap guys and all. You get guys out there that have got no idea, will take, literally take a chick that they've known off Tinder or Bumble for six months and literally willingly have start having kids with them. You know, hey, I say, you might as well put all your money on black, doing stuff like that, but it happens, okay? And so these women, they do suck in guys that are good options, but very much plugged in a little bit later down the line when they change their mind and realize, hang on, I'm not getting a lot of satisfaction out of just going to work every day and coming home and getting paid because the corporate life, it's pretty robotic. And once the, the glamour, um, someone who's been in corporate, 
as someone, uh, the sheen, uh, the glitz and glamour sort of wears off after a few years, and you just realise it's just a big machine, and you're this tiny little thing in the machine, and you start thinking, what else is there to my life? And that's, I'm sure, how these women think who say they don't want kids. Okay, so that's my take on that. Guys, about halfway through, um, if you're enjoying this video, a bit of a different one today, a bit more introspective. Uh, if you're enjoying it, please sub to the channel. Aiming for 10K subs. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. And guys, the best way to help me out is watch the videos through as long as you are willing to sit through, but uh, the view time is what helps me out. Uh, it pushes my videos out to the wider audience on YouTube. I just feel like the kids, no kids thing was actually a very big factor just because my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend now was saying that she doesn't think it's fair for me to stay in this relationship since by the time, let's say like, I do want kids, I'll need to find another girl to, you know, date and then go through that whole process when I'm older, right? Like mid thirties, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. Like your mid thirties is young. Like that, that doesn't matter. You still got plenty of time at that age, even in your forties to have kids. Uh, it doesn't, the same logic. A lot of guys, they think, uh, that they get in their head that they, they're getting old and they're going to be this. Yeah, sure. It is obviously preferable to be a younger father, but they make it like, a, like almost like a woman, like a, like a feminine uh, energy. Oh, I'm too old. I'm going to miss out and all this sort of stuff. And they rush and rush and they bang chicks off Tinder and Bumble and fucking have kids with them. I've seen it happen heaps of times. The reason why she's telling this guy it's not fair to you and blah, blah, blah. She's letting him down easy. She doesn't want to hurt him and rip his guts out, but he's not getting the picture. He's hanging around thinking she's going to change her mind. Hats off to her. She hasn't just walked out and dumped him and blocked him. What happens, what a lot of uh, women can do to guys and just rip his guts out. But she's letting him down easy. He's not getting the picture. He's not understanding why she was saying that to him. Yeah, that was reason number one. It's just like the whole kids versus no kids, which is a common discussion nowadays. I feel like increasingly, you know, People don't really want kids nowadays compared to before, where it was the norm. So yeah, that was like one big factor. The second reason was, plain and simply, she was a career woman. So oh, what I mean by this, basically, she prioritized her career. And the problem with dating career women is, like I said, they prioritize a career over most other things, right? I would say, aside from her career, she prioritizes her immediate family. But when it comes to like relationship, she doesn't really factor that in and um so basically this guy was mr safe he was just there he was taking her out um while she was you know she was busy probably working a lot of overtime play some corporate maybe high high corporate high finance whatever it is lawyer a lot of these women legal i i, I find the corporates the, the high flying type you know in-house uh, legal counsel shit like that it's dime a dozen on the dating apps career women nothing wrong with it just an observation um so they pick these guys because they hang around, they're safe, they're nice, they're nurturing, they don't, they're not high risk, they'll be there when they need them to be there because they're focusing on their jobs and everything like that. Uh, they don't want to be dealing with Chads and Tyrones and uh, Bryces and Stevos and that, all right? Like they, 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 they don't want to be doing that. They want to be focusing on the job, the career. But the, the reality is that what happens is a lot of these women, they'll meet a guy at work who is of equal or higher uh, status to them in, in the company they work at. And this guy here, that's when he gets his ass kicked to the curb because she finds the better option, right? And then all of a sudden, this guy's going to be like, oh, like in three years, oh, my ex, uh, fucking whatever her name is. She's had kids and she's telling me she didn't want kids. She had kids with Joe Blow from the finance department. I don't understand it. It's that he, this guy was just a bench warmer for a while while she could focus on her job. You know, I think with healthcare, she was explaining that it's tough for people who are in healthcare to date someone who's not in healthcare just because healthcare people get that, like, it becomes your life. Whereas, you know, I um, majored in business, so I feel like when I'm working and then I'm done with work, I can just shut off. An example she gave was she was talking with her friend who's uh, her classmate, and she asked, like, okay, if you won the lottery tomorrow, would you still go into work the next day? And she said yes. My girlfriend also agreed she said yes, right? What this signifies is it's just not about the money. 
when it comes. Uh, it's bullshit. Like I've heard people say this, would you still do this job if you didn't have to for free? Most of the time people say yes. I think it's, um, that's almost like a cope as well. Why would you work for free if you don't have to? As I said, you get these young ladies, there's nothing, I think it's good, like be accomplished, do all those things, but they think that that motivation um, and commitment to their work is going to last forever. Like they've got that young energy, they're excited, they're boss babes, they're taking over the world. They're in their 20s, they're getting promotions, they're working hard, good on them. I've seen a lot of really clever women um, in, in corporate, I've got nothing against it, I think it's good. But eventually that slows down that drive it's not like a man generally has to keep no matter what has to try and keep progressing the best he can because he has expenses and things he has to cover and no one's ever going to bail him out okay so eventually when we get to an age where they get tired burnt out corporate life or she's he said healthcare, so i was wrong on that like maybe a doctor or something or specialist nurse i don't know i'm making up assumptions here right you get burnt out, you get stressed, and they start thinking, you know what? I don't think I can do this for the next 30 years. Okay, I've come across plenty of girls like that who have told me they're all about their career. And then they start thinking, what more is there to life when they get to an age where it's almost do or die? And that's where you find all these different kinds of women on the dating apps and Bumble, and there's this huge population of attractive but a lot of the time, unreasonable, but accomplished women on them. It's like a, a cookie cutter phenomenon. It, it, I would say it's almost like a pandemic. To, um, you know, this particular case, because I know for me, like in my corporate job, if I won the lottery, then I'm sure as hell not <laughs> going into the office the next day, right? So yeah, I feel like there are pros and cons to dating every type of girl. That's like one thing that I want you guys to understand. It's not like, oh, you should date this kind of girl over that kind of girl. I feel like it all depends on your own lifestyle. There's no perfect girl that exists. I feel like there's trade-offs with everything. Like if you date a younger girl versus an older girl, if you date a girl from, you know, overseas versus a girl in America, I think everything's a trade-off, which you can say that about most things in life. And um, yeah, I feel like for her, she was just prioritizing her studies and career over the relationship and dude if a girl really likes you she'll never dump you like that um you know it's a hard pill to swallow as men that you can be expendable like this guy hasn't he hasn't learned anything he, he's trying he's scratching he's scratching the surface you know the top of the iceberg but he his level of analysis introspection um inquisitiveness is really surface level he's just not going deep enough and i think that's where I've benefited. I've been this guy before. Um, I've been Mr. Nice Guy, and I actually broke up with a long-term girlfriend when I was in my early or early twenties before I met my uh, ex-wife. That that really hurt me to do that, and I didn't. Uh, I learned a lot out of that. Okay, I didn't go and do the same things again and put up with the same things. Then I got married. Didn't go well. Um, learned a lot out of that. Okay, I, I took something out of it. Um, I was naive a lot in that process. Uh, and learnt some pretty hard lessons, okay? Saw where I did things wrong as well. I wasn't just like, oh, well, this guy's taken everything this chick said on face value. Uh, women, a lot of time, it's going to lie to you because it's harder to tell someone the truth to their face. Just make up some superficial bullshit. Let the guy down easy if they do give you that um, grace. <laughs> a lot of the time, as I said, they will just disappear on you or whatever it is. Just so the guy isn't hurt. They're not going to tell you the truth. I found a better option or you're not doing it for me anymore or I'm bored of you. We may get bored of guys. So this guy that doesn't look like an exciting guy, uh, she's probably starting to think about her future. They're probably around 30 and she's like, yeah, he's probably not it. You know? So he's boring and he's just a career guy who wants to maybe settle down and have kids. There's nothing exciting here right yet. She wants to probably go travel and do all those things. I'm making this stuff up, but it's a general theme. Okay, But I think as men, um, the answers are out there for you if you want to find them. Sometimes you're not going to like what you find or what you hear. Uh, a lot of the things I say, men uh, and a lot of women, uh, many women actually, and men, sorry, I should rephrase that, uh, misconstrue what I'm talking about as, as hate. 
um, or a tax or, or whatever, however people want to phrase that when they hear things they don't like but are true and they know it, okay? The answers are there. You can find it. You're probably here for that very same reason. All right, guys, I think I'm probably going to end it there, okay? I only got a few moments in. He only got to his second reason. We sort of got the gist of it. If you want to see uh, the rest of his video, I think he said he had three reasons. Check him out. Uh, link in the video description. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.